weeks. Okay, the name of the of my speech is 21st Century Roles of the Regional Museum. And I want to mention our database in a broader context. And I want to tell you about how the database is functioning in the reality and practice. And I hope that my enthusiasm will reflect my interest in this topic. I think that the exhibition at the beginning of the century was a rare occasion and a lot of the approaches were based off romanticism and a lot of the collectors were enthusiasts and they tried to collect artworks and have their own personal collections. And all of the patrons try to cooperate it in some way. We have a wonder camera, which is connected to the human being itself. And that inspires ourselves very deeply. And we want to reflect on these collections and artworks. Wonder cameras are typical by reflecting some broader space and a human being is in center of all attention. The human being in the center was descended uh, by God and the world around it is being systematically explored. And I think it's wonderful that work of arts can be measured by simple little machines which were developed in ancient times. And a lot of the artworks had certain role in society and shaped and were shaped by the society. And it is a subject which was thoroughly researched. And I think we still can draw inspiration from that. When I think about the terminology, I think that the collector who collected the artworks reflects his, his or her responsibility for collecting the what for the artworks and he serves as a puppeteer who tries to something tell to the audience and I am reflecting on the British and New York museums who, which are based on uh, models of fictional reality. The original cameras in the 18th century were concerned with the interiors of buildings. It wasn't analytical research, it was rather a systematic one and they tried to give the artworks to the context. And uh, one of the reasons, this is one of the reasons why the research was reflected in the 1960s. And there was also political and social issues. And the audience were led to reflect on those things as well. And the typical was accumulation and categorization based on aesthetic values. And it was a typical word would be 
the word beautiful and it was also connected to the education and the values we are trying to get from that are very important for the whole society. I think I would like to mention how the museums are operating. They are not researching the things which were established, but they are also apply, practically applying these things and they try to reflect on how these things should be perceived in practice. And I hope that every visitor to the museum should be concerned with how the artworks are structured in the museums. And you can see that the process of not magically perceiving the world is being established. And we have certain artifacts and items which are connected with the period of enlightening, which were under scrutiny for a long period of time. An important feature um, for the original artwork is uh, the main role of museum is uh, for, t for the visit. Um, well, it's uh, this is important for virtual museums, uh, for the operation of virtual museums. From the 60s, uh, we included uh, new theories of art and uh, his new history of art, critical history of art, and the museum work uh, that I mentioned before. Uh, is the ob objective was to create a museum which would be uh, a community museum and uh, we need to uh, include and involve all visitors uh, either educated or non-educated and it's not only about artworks but about uh, the whole scale of uh, works. Uh, we can see the original architectural uh, design, uh, which uh, it was supposed to be open last year. And Museum Olomouc of Art uh, keeps working uh, on this. Uh, it should be space which is open to various activities. And it's uh, intended for uh, theater performances, for daily life, um, for regular ac daily activities. Uh, it should be normal to spend your Sunday in a museum because uh, it's not only about the artworks uh, of the museum, but also about programs. This paper <laughs> uh, is a demonstration of uh, how to do things, how to not to do things. So I sh will intend, I will try to speak more into the microphone. Uh, so exposition, uh, I wanted to present the ways how we work with expositions today. Uh, it should be a very strong experience. Uh, it should be a process. Uh, that is develop constantly developing. What is very important is that uh, from the original uh, uniform education, uh, we gradually get to a system which is fragmentary. We can select diff various uh, things out of it, which uh, can pose a problem. Uh, because something is systematic, uh, it is demanding, and it is not only formed by your own experience from the past, but uh, which is formed by uh, 
um, demanding work and collection of facts. This also opens uh, um, the scissors between the academic practice and the both domains work uh, with aesthetics uh, differently because expositions are uh, dependent on aesthetics and uh, they put uh, thing, visual and formal things uh, into a co um, comparison and uh, they approach it with a critical point of view. What is the new museum? What is modernistic museum? It is a construction and uh, it's uh, proposed or designed options. The new part, uh, each part was intended for a different principle. Uh, museum, uh, the new Museum of Art uh, was designed at the beginning of the 90s and it should uh, be involved in culture as such and it should work as a community institution. Here you can also see the hierarchy um, and the principles of Museum uh, of Art and uh, the ad adhere um, adjoining uh, Central um, European Art Database. Here you can see the system of the database. It is a, a network of uh, relationships. The important thing is um, the milestones, uh, which are the center of our focus, it's institutions, artworks, etc. But what is, and this is also related to the principle of the database, uh, we have to find the relationships between the things. So it's the system of what we uh, research and it is the region where we live and we have to uh, find the, the limits, the borders of uh, where our work, especially in the first half of the 21st century. And the next thing is the interpretation. It is the world on its own. It has a number of overlaps uh, into outer space, but it is still quite a small topic for us. The next. Uh, the following slides are define uh, the, the operation of the database, the goals of the database. It's still on the paper, but uh, it is still one advantage, big advantage of CAD. The um, st status of the museum in the 21st century, uh, which is the experience uh, and such, are also taken over by the virtual museum or are they are the best way to use the virtual space which means that the database is open you can search um, data things are configured um, um, the way so that you can search uh, your uh, information easily It's very user-friendly. If you are interested in a, a particular artist um, or um, exhibition space, etc., it is a database which is not only concentrated on high art, but it wants to overlap into broader space. The domains are clear. Central Europe, uh, the Visegrad Four, and the totalitarian period. 45 till 89, and data, information, interpretation, names of institutions. But what is most important for us uh, is uh, the systemization of things, the work with archives, audio, visual materials, which should help. What is 
uh, interesting for us is that we don't work on this project alone. Uh, there are other museums involved. Some of the partner institutions has been, have been mentioned. We can mention them again. And uh, it's a, a great benefit of the project that it has uh, um, its partners that help the development. Methodology, it's, for me it's standard research. Um, this is very important because we create audio-visual material. And it's di digitization of data. Um, I would like to uh, mention this later. The data core of the database and the biggest problem in the whole database is that it provides interpretation, our own interpretation. But this is probably uh, the uh, downside of all systems, all virtual systems. Um, all of these systems work on the way uh, which um, model, which interpretation model you choose. And this is uh, more of a uh, circular rather than a linear development. The question, mm, it's either a modernistic or um, museum or a museum of art. Uh, it doesn't work uh, on one line, it works in circles. A certain feature of the database is uh, based on uh, uh, collective access. And the users actually develop uh, the needs of other users and we can share, they can share um, content. Uh, we also have to cover the copyright rules, of course. As for organization, um, you all probably know, you all who use the Central European Database know it. It's author, artwork, institution. Uh, that's the uh, framework. And uh, this also includes um, memories uh, relating to certain uh, events, uh, particular things in context and also uh, it also contains our own approach to the um, particular event. One of the tools of visual interpretation is uh, for example um, the video documentaries. We have about 50 authors, 50 artists uh, in our database. Um, and we want to continue, we want to um, extend our database in the future. On the other hand, the information that we offer uh, is still quite limited and uh, so we also want to focus on um, deepening uh, the information relating to individual authors. This is the last part, which should conclude my topic. Virtual Museum is uh, a project which uh, substitutes the uh, design building of CEAD. And uh, that's why um, this is this is crucial for the operation of CEAD. But of course, we do not want to limit our work on uh, the virtual space. But we also uh, want to organize conferences, colloquia, uh, lectures, and we also uh, founded a research center. I think that the system. That's why I think the system is circular. And um, it inspires the individual uh, people who share the information, inspire each other. We don't have to um, presume that virtual space is uncontrolled. 
As for the Central European research, uh, the research background, I want, would like to conclude. Um, it's a myth uh, in where we move. And I believe this picture reflects very nicely uh, this idea. It's very symbolic. It's very distant. It's something which is very distant. It doesn't even have to exist anymore. Um, but uh, we uh, presume there are certain relationships between the individual stars. Um, and it, it is very dependent on our interpretation. And the system can collapse, and then we can start working on it again, building it again. We can um, change things. We can come with different solutions, change uh, practical uh, things, how we work with uh, keywords, etc. This is all on my part. And if you have any questions, you can ask. Uh, and this was just uh, um, one uh, introductory paper, and all the other papers will focus on uh, art in a Central European space. I would like to mention some uh, practical information. Uh, when there is a break, I would like to, sorry, I would like to ask you to uh, adhere to the time schedule of breaks and uh, uh, times of presentations because we want to uh, download all presentations into our computer. We have technical support. If you have questions, there, there is a number of people working on the database, and you can uh, ask questions. Uh, questions. So thank you, and uh, um, have a nice experience. Thank you.